Ewing Star Video Challenge, we are in week 7, uh, this is Patrick, uh, I want to welcome you to this 7th uh, week, the last one of the uh, contest of course, and uh, there we are, this is the, uh, the last one, uh, <laughs> finish line of course, uh, you have to run straight fast. Uh, welcome aboard, uh, I want to thank you for watching the video. We're going to be talking about business uh, today in the Ewing Star Video Challenge. Um, most of the time um, you hear that it's not about the product, uh, that it's about uh, you uh, as you put yourself as a, uh, as a leader on how you come across. But sometimes it is also uh, because of the product, that product. and. Um, the product will be responsible for the uh, company's uh, success and occasionally it is true. As a matter of fact, uh, LifeWave has been among the fastest growing companies in the US. LifeWave has been ranked uh, a number 1435 on its fourth, fourth annual uh, Inc. 5000 list. Uh, that's the, uh, the, uh, the, the magazine, the Mag Inc. 5000, of course we're talking about, which is an exclusive uh, ranking uh, of the uh, fastest growing uh, private companies uh, in the US, of course. Now this distinction is very indicative uh, from the uh, explosive uh, growth of this company. Uh, what's interesting uh, to know is that uh, not only LifeWave uh, made uh, the list, of course, like many other lists as well, but it moved from number 3390 spot in 2009 uh, when it was ranked uh, as a, a 4825. You know, David Schmidt, the uh, inventor of, uh, and CEO of uh, LifeWave, uh, said that uh, moving up uh, on uh, the 5000 list uh, is such a, uh, uh, in such a dramatic fashion is a real uh, sta uh, a statement, of course, uh, for the uh, entrepreneurial spirit and uh, the dedication, of course, uh, shown by how worldwide uh, network of distributors uh, like us, of course, and uh, I knew he would say that, of course. Now, in order to be uh, listed, uh, there are a few standards to be uh, to be applied, of course, and uh, they must show uh, four full years of uh, calendar sales. That's number one condition. Number two is the company must be privately uh, uh, he uh, held and uh, for profit, of course, and independence. That's number two. Number three, by the end of the first year, the company, I think, must have reported at least $200,000 of a uh, of, of revenue in revenues and by the end of the fourth year they must have at least reported two millions dollars in revenue as well each uh, company profile that's number four is a research uh, by by Inc uh, by ENC incorporated so I, I call them Inc of course as short and include interview with the CEO of almost every company that are listed by Inc mag 5000 of course so this is the distinction that uh, distinguishes um, uh, us to clients to, uh, to prospects as well, and to the rest of the industry. Uh, it is an honor that we should all uh, be proud of, and it was made possible through your how, as distributors, how hard work, of course, commitment and uh, dedication, all right? So this is what I had to say for today about the um, shaking, <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm moving too much. This is for today, the uh, Ewing Star Video Challenge, week 7, day 1, it was about the business. And I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.